We are cruising toward the November 5th election. It is now less than three weeks away and there are still a lot of undecided voters and the Latino vote is likely to have a big impact. So right now there's a push to increase their turnout while fighting against misinformation. Local 4 Shante Passmore is live in Southwest Detroit with what's being done to get out the vote, Shante. Kimberly, the misinformation surrounding the Latino community is very alarming, including how to vote. Meanwhile, tonight, for the first time, we're getting an in-depth look at the Latino voter here in Michigan. Up for grabs, 400,000 eligible Latino voters in the Great Lakes state. Veda Avila, a first-generation Mexican-American, plans to vote. What makes you the most concerned or nervous about this year's election? Oh. I am so nervous because they say it's so close. Quality of life issues are important to the voting bloc, as with other demographics, including concerns about the border and immigration. But there's a difference between border security and a path toward citizenship for people who are immigrants. The Detroit Hispanic Development Center, along with other Latino groups across the state, are boosting the Latina voter turnout. We were able to increase voter turnout by 15 percent across the state of Michigan. A comprehensive national poll highlighted Latino voters living in key battleground states, including Michigan. It shows more Latina voters grew interested in the election after President Biden bowed out of the race. The problem? Some lack a game plan on how to cast their ballot. The driver that took us here basically said that she kept hearing in community that some of the people that she takes on the cab are saying like, oh, don't worry because I'm going to be voting by phone. Outside of Florida, most Latina voters in swing states say they'll more than likely vote for VP Kamala Harris. When it comes to congressional races, 19 percent of Michigan Latinos are still undecided. And some may opt to sit this election out like a villa's son. But <laughs> we'll see. And other important issues to Latino voters include a permanent ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war, also reproductive rights. If you're curious to see what was in that national poll targeting Latino voters, we actually will have that at clickondetroit.com. We're live tonight. Shante Passmore, Local 4. Okay, Shante, thank you.